people have got their weakness. Being weak does not mean they are not alive. And being weak does not mean that there is no area of strength with them. Do not reject people because according to your own calculation, they have nothing to give to you. They cannot compensate you in anything.
This day of today marks a great day in the history of the church. The day of the deliverance of the whole of the humanity. Through the work of the Because without this day, whom shall we have been today? But because of the day of today, where the Father manifested His love, giving His only begotten Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, to be sacrificed for the whole of mankind on the cross where he was nailed when he didn't commit any criminal act the only people who were separated from the father we were and through the work of the cross he gave us a way home back to the Father so it is wonderful today that we celebrate the death of our master Oh, what a wonderful day we have. Without this day of Calvary, where would you have been? Just ask yourself. Where would you have been without Calvary? At home in glory, your mansion is waiting for you. It's, it is the Father's desire that you occupy that place. But living a kingdom life because Jesus conquered that other kingdom. The kingdom of darkness by what he did someday on this day. And for that reason, we are going to partake of the emblems that represent his body and his blood that was shared. And at the same time, I will be taking you through the narration of what happened on this day. Starting from the evening of the day before until he hung on the cross. This we must talk about because it brought life to me. And so before I give you this narration, 
I will request the servants of the tables to proceed to the tables. Because it's the Eucharist moment. Oh, thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Oh, thank you. So by partaking of these emblems, we are giving thanks to God. I will request my pastors to proceed one to each table. And for this service, uh, uh, Pastor Pep, will you come to this one? Pastor TV to this one. Pastor Mjezi to that one. Uh, Pastor Bodeli, you go to that table. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, the Banana pastor from Magazine. Pretoria is at home today. <laughs> pastor Sibara, will you proceed to that uh, table? <laughs> pastor Rambani, will you go to that table there? And then Bafunzi Sanda Bombi will go to that table right there. I think they are all covered, Mwari. And will you lay your hand on that table? Glorious King and Wonderful Father. Thank you for the work you were pleased with when it took place. For it pleased you to associate him with sinners and put the sin of man on him. As he hung on that old rugged cross. His blood shed until his body was emptied of it. For the propitiation of our iniquities. Today, therefore, great King, here we partake of the emblems in remembrance of Him. Allow this day to be a blessed day to us all. We share with each other the divine joy of glory. We who had no home in you have found a home through the work of the cross. Bless us today in the unison of partaking of this together. Health in our souls. Health in our bodies. Health in our spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let that be. Amen. Amen. At this juncture and moment, I am going to request the pastors to uh, receive of the bread. And the wine. Right now.
Madam Mazinge, will you please proceed? Wame Mazinge, Navokabate. By the way, myself and you should go down and be served. Proceeding not in a haste to the table next to you. And here is the record according to Luke in chapter 23. Then the whole multitude of them arose and led him to Pilate. And they began to accuse him, saying, We found this fellow perverting the nation and forbidding to pay the taxes to Caesar saying that he himself is Christ, a king. Then Pilate said to him, asked him, saying, are you the king of the Jews? He answered him and said, It is as you say. Pilato Amobuzisa Ari, Na Ukosia Bayuda, Yeso Ari, Wobula. So Pilate said to the chief priest and the crowd, I find no fault in this man. Pilato Amba Navochi Peba Huru Namagogo Ari, Ne Atiwani Murandu Kauyumutu. But they were the more fierce, saying, He stirs up the people, teaching throughout all Judea, beginning from Galilee to this place. And when Pilate heard of Galilee, he asked if the man were a Galilean. Pilato achiba faba chiraro, abuzisa aralieso emutu a Galilea. And as soon as he knew that he belonged to Herod's jurisdiction, he sent him to Herod, who was also in Jerusalem at that time. Ari ufa jauri ndi wa mubuso wa Herode, amurumera ha Herode, wea ba odavo Jerusalem, misi iyo. Now when Herod saw Jesus, he was exceedingly glad, 
for he had desired for a long time to see him because he had heard many things about him and he hoped to see some miracle done by him. Ene rode achibona yeso atakala zihuru gauri oba achikota maumobona chakale gauri oba ofa bachimuamba arindi dobona yeso achita butoro then he questioned him with many words, but he answered him nothing. And the chief priests and the scribes stood and vehemently accused him. Then Herod with his men of war treated him with contempt and mocked him, arrayed him in a gorgeous robe and sent him back to Pilate. That that very day, Pilate and Herod became friends with each other, for previously they had been of enmity with each other. Musi uyo Pilato na Herod ba choma ufana ngauri kale boba vachivengana. Then Pilate, when he had called together the chief priests the rulers and the people, he said to them, you have brought this man to me as one who misleads the people. And indeed, having examined him in your presence, I have found no fault in this man concerning those things of which you accuse him. A amba na bo ari uyu muthu no mudisa hanne na ri upirita nya vathu bonane ndo musengisa ni hone uno milandu ine na muhwelela nga yo athongo wana na muthihi wa yo kha ene No neither did Herod for I sent you back to him, and indeed nothing deserving of death has been done by him. Na erode uraro, nga urindoni ruma na ya haene, unobonani, auna chea ita cho edanywa honga rufu. I will therefore chastise him and release him. Shinondi domu rwanda mricha. For it was necessary for him to release one to them at the feast. And they cried out at once, saying, Away with this man, meaning Jesus, and release to us Barabbas. Uno gogolo tela bizelela lari tusa uyu uchiambu wa yeso uribo poro lele baraba. Barabbas who had been thrown into prison for a certain rebellion made in the city and for murder. Baraba we abau kujakoto ninge avusandwa mudini abula hamutu. Pilate therefore wishing to release Jesus again called out to them. But they shouted, Crucify him! Crucify him! Then he said to them the third time, why, what evil has he done? I have found no reason for death in him. I will therefore chastise him and let him go. Pilato amba naboro aburaru ari. Ochinyani, neati wani murandu wo edanyu ahonga rufuka ene. Lichani ndi murwe, ndi muboporole. 
but they were insistent, demanding with loud voices that he be crucified, and the voice of this man and of the chief priest prevailed. Boneba shamba nga maifima uruvari abambi we kachpambano. Ushamba habo na habo chipeba uru ha ulera. So Pilate gave sentence that it should be as they requested. Pilato aatura ari huitwe jineba funa. And he released to them the one they requested who for rebellion and murder had been thrown into prison, but he delivered Jesus to their will. For, for the will of the Jews sought him crucified. And they love to see him in pain. Little did they know what will happen when he was crucified on the morning of Friday at nine will bring salvation to the whole of mankind. When he ended up dying at three in the afternoon, having spent these many nine hours on the cross. Hanging there, bleeding until there was nothing to bleed. Was not that a wonder for us? I therefore request we be on our feet now. Soralo handi dombelo riri menga melenge ya shuzwa zino. To give thanks to the Father. Ure rine ya zindi woka koti. And to give thanks to Jesus for sacrificing his own for our good. Shall we raise our hands and begin to pray the prayer of thanksgiving? Thank the Father. Thank Jesus. Thank the Father for his love. Thank Jesus for his sacrifice. Thank the Father for his grace. Thank Jesus for his mercy. Give thanks to him for his precious blood. Through which we have been cleansed of our sin. Through which we found reconciliation with God. For he who reconciled us with the Father through the blood of his cross. Did so out of a willing heart. Jesus, our Savior. Yes, so much it was. May He be glorified today. Give Him praise and give Him glory. 
flag and worthy to receive. For he did for us something nobody would do it. Glory be to his holy name. Hallelujah. Chief and Anro Shavuti remain precious cross to you and the blood remain precious blood oh we may be seated now This Jesus is now seated at the right hand side of the Father, doing intercession for us. He continued to stand on the gap between the Father and us, making us more appealing to the Father. As he work, do the work of perfecting us, as we surrender our all to him. And I want to say to you, he is no longer on the cross. Shall we read the text of this morning? First Corinthians chapter 11. Verse 23 up to 26. There the scriptures read. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it. This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Olivua Achimwata Ari Dimuvili Wanga Wenda Kumetwa Nichi Niraro Nichi Tera Unyere Wangajo. In the same manner he also took the cup after supper, saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Araro vona chinuero, musi hono rare wa ari, chinuero ichi ndi muranga muswa wa maropa ni anga, ni diraro misiote, ni chichinwa, ni chitera unyere wangazu. 
For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Ngauri misiote arali nichi lai chichinkwa, nichi nwe chichi nwero, nitanziera rufuwa murena, achida awane nichi nicha diraro. This concludes the reading of the text. When he is no longer on the cross. Now when we will be eating of the emblems of his body. And drinking that which represent his blood. What do these represent? What do these apply? And that is what I think I should deal with. Because when he is no longer on the cross, there is something continuing taking place. So when we partake of this like what we did this morning. What are we doing? What is going on here? Number one, this is a commemoration. Jesus Christ is no longer on the cross. But we are to remember his suffering. That we may not land in ignorance. And neglect such a precious work of love the Father did through Christ. For he himself said it, this is my body broken for you, talking about the bread. But understand it well. When he said it's my body, he was not saying that bread has turned to be his literal body. But it's an emblem symbolic of his body. Which we do in remembrance of what happened to his body. And drinking of the blood in remembrance of his blood that was shed starting from the crucifixion up to the crucifixion. So it is important that we eat this but reminding ourselves of the price of our deliverance. Reminding ourselves of the type of the offering that Jesus became. The great legal examiner of the time who was in charge of Palestine 
representing Caesar in Rome. The Jews presented to him everything they said it's a crime he committed. After sifting all the matters with a legal eye and according to Roman law he found that Jesus committed no crime that warranted him to be killed. Three times he said to them I find him not guilty. But something happened. Pilate sentenced a man he did not find guilty. When you find a man not guilty, he must be released. But he was not relieved. Because man said, Let him be crucified. Let him be crucified. They called for them. Like a lamb led to the slaughter. He gave himself to them. They tore his body. And they nailed him on the cross. Everything that was done, it was not for him because he committed no crime. But it was for me and you. For we committed a crime that separated us from the Father. So he hung on the cross. And speaking in Isaiah, the word of the Lord indicates that the Father was pleased to associate him with the sinners because the Father knew that he who believes in him shall not be put to shame. For God so loved the world that he gave this only begotten son of his that whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. But today, ladies and gentlemen, we are now reconciled to the Father. I want to reiterate what I said last night in a conference. Please remain reconciled to the Father. May this commemoration cause you to think about the reconciliation that took place and see the worth in this reconciliation because in this reconciliation you find peace with yourself you find peace with the father in this reconciliation you are reconciled with your destiny in this reconciliation you are reconciled with everything that was no longer at the point of reach 
you can now reach out to that in this commemoration when we think about his suffering we think of what this suffering has done for me I was a nobody. But now I am a somebody. And you were a nobody. You were just a creation, uh, human beings of God. But now, behold what manner of love the father has given unto you that you are now called the children of God. May this commemoration cause you to see yourself as reconciled and as a child of God. We commemorate the sufferings of Jesus Christ. Number two. Oh, Jesus. The Spirit of the Lord said, For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the death of Jesus until he comes. What we did this morning, eating of the bread and drinking of the wine, we are proclaiming. We are declaring the world cannot longer hide and deny this. Because matters of his death especially coming to his resurrection the world did not want to hear that. That's why some are trying to cover the, the integrity of the Roman rule. They say, no, Jesus didn't die in the hands of the Roman. Rome did not kill Jesus. That's a lie. Rome sentenced a man to death, a man who had committed not a single crime. Roma Jesus our Lord. They don't want to be pointed a finger at to say they caused his death. They even go to the extent of saying he didn't even die. But now, as we talk about his death, as we partake of these emblems, we are becoming more noisier, much more louder. Nobody can deny it. On the cross, he suffered and died. And he died for the whole of humanity. He didn't die for the Jews. He died for every person God had created. That's why in the morning of the crucifixion, they led him out of Jerusalem and led him out of the city to a hill 
called Calvary. Katava inofi Calvary. The heel of the shape of a skull. Tataba ya chibumbe yocha tetere. Even today. Nana musi. It looks like that. Ivo nala yoto raro. They led him out there to make him a spectacle. His death was seen even by people who were passerby. Because the route from Jerusalem down to Jericho and Galilee passed next to where he was crucified. The world don't want to hear he died. Because the more they hear, much guilt comes to bear in their soul. They must feel guilty because unless they feel guilty they cannot repent of their sins. They cannot surrender to God. When I accepted him as a savior I felt so remorseful and a sinner and I gave up to him. Beloved, let's continue to eat of the Lord's Supper. In this church, as often as you enter into prayer and fasting, on the day of the breakage, I give a rule today. Serve yourself with the emblems. On that day. This must be done not only on such a day like this. Because whenever we do it, in the realm of the spirit, the volume is turned much louder. He died. He died. We proclaim his death until he comes. Glory be to his holy name. Oh, Jesus. Number three. In the old covenant, it was difficult for the father to justify the people of that covenant. Because the blood that was shed, it was not precious blood. It was the blood of the beasts. On the day of atonement. And even during the feast of Pascal. Those people. Didn't apply precious blood. The blood they applied. At atonement. Was used only to cover the sin of the nation. And to cover the sin of the ministering priest. Beloved, something which is covered, it is not taken away. I have a bill here. Oh. My daughter is bringing something. Um, Luki, 
irich kwaman changam. I have this prop. Ndina chiti boyeshi. And then here it is. You can all see it, isn't it? Ke chiva koko no chivo na bote asijone kan. And uh, take yours. I have. Uh, I put it on the um, on the pulpit. I have a cover. Good. I've covered it. Can you now see this? You cannot see. Amen. Why? It is covered. The day Israel got salvation in Egypt. The blood was applied on the doorpost. What did God said? He said, so that when I pass by, I should not harm them. Be, not because they are justified. Because the blood of the animals had helped to cover their sin. But that which is covered, it is not taken away. It is there. And now I take out my cover. You can see it again. That is what happened with the blood of the beast. But with the blood of Jesus. Here we find precious blood. What did it do with my sin? It blew my sin away. Where my sin is gone, not even the Father can find it. Because of the power of the blood, now this work of the blood has brought to us justification by faith. Here is where I believe that he died for me. His blood was shed for me. At my confession of his name and my sin, I am forgiven because my sin is so taken away to a point where the Father can find it. I get worked out inside. In the old covenant, there was no waking out inside. But here now, I come to God by faith. I come to him believing always. And it works. The just shall live by faith. Faith is at work now. Oh God. Now that is no longer on the cross. He has made for me and for you. The way of faith. That's why who believes in him. Shall not perish. That's the reason why. For us to be saved. We believe. And we confess. And attain our salvation. Oh glory to God. I love this. Now we live by faith. 
Salvation does not come through attending church service regularly. Attending service regularly is part of discipleship. But salvation is by faith. It is not even by partaking of the emblem. Because it's not the emblems that save. It is the true blood that was shed. Let me bring this last one. Now that he is no longer on the cross, what he did is to leave us with a bold act to do something which was impossible in the old covenant. For in the temple of the old covenant, that temple was made of three parts. Number one, the outer court, where the daily sacrifices took place. And the second one, it was the holy place where the table of the bread of the presence was. And there was this holy of holies area where nobody would go. Where the priest would go once in a year. On the day of atonement. And on that day. He had to make sure he followed all the prescriptions on the way of entering that premise. And a lot of them died there. And they devised a way. Where whoever goes in there, they had to make sure that uh, he is tied with a rope in his foot. In case he die in there, they pull him out. Because should they try to go by themselves, they would also die. Because God is holy. Amen. Amen. So in the temple area, they were people who were not allowed to go in there. Number one, women were not allowed. Number two, People of over age were not allowed. Number three, people who are very young and negligent were not allowed to go. And again, people who were sick were not allowed to go. But when he hung on the cross, when he died, the veil that separated the Holy of Holies from the holy place, it was torn down. In other words, it was saying, there is now an opening. To the presence of God. That's why the scriptures in Hebrews 10, 19 to 21 said. Therefore, brethren, having boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus. 
Varatu rifaro tondi wanga vule randira ya ujena oh. petu uketwa nga maropa ayeso. Alala, hey, apo chivenda chwe ingwara zudenya kukuma. Dodo wa uivare. Varatu rifaro tondi wa. Rifaro tondi wa. Nga uvule randira. Nga uvule li randira ye ya vayo valiwa. Ya ujena petu uketwa. Ya ujena petu uketwa ndira ye ya vayo itiri mfuma kazi haje. Nga maropa yeso. Chihole hachije. And the, the way that it was closed. Oh no luala haje. And the one who seek cannot enter. Bone vono ke gula haje. If you are over age you cannot get into. He ndira yo vuliwa. And now the way has been opened. Zino roto ndi wakezi. Now we have been blessed. Zino rina chivind. Now we have got boldness. Rina tender. We have got permission. We now have access. Sha zino roto ndi wa. To the holy presence of God. Through the blood of Jesus Christ. Are you hearing this matter, children of my father? We have a way here. It's by a new and living way which he consecrated for us through the veil that is his flesh. It's verse 20. And having a high priest over the house of God. Jesus is our high priest. We no longer have a human high priest who will go in every year. Jesus went there in once and for all. Now that is no longer on the cross, you have access to the presence of God. You can go on your own. You can worship right freely and feel that breeze and feel that wind of the Holy Spirit because because we have access, the gates are open. It is not only for the priest to enjoy God alone. Even a commoner is allowed. And it is said that you can come. I feel it every day. When I say my Lord. I feel him beginning to move. You have access. And you should not fear because he kills not. You should not fear because he's not a monster. And if you get into his presence and you taste to enjoy him, you will wish to remain there. Just like David who said it, that a single day in your presence it is better than a thousand days elsewhere. This is what the after death of Jesus. Leave us with. And we must thank him for that. And this is life. And he and this is the way of faith. Not Zula Hene. Seated right there. I need to the Kota Melachipat Wacham. Can't you bow down? Nitome Wumbula. And you start to think of him. Nimu Humbula Habe Achipamba no. And think of him on the cross. Nimu Humbula Ot. And think of him having descended. Close your eyes and just think of it. Glory to Jesus. 
We have access by faith. According to Romans 5.2 Into this grace in which we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory to come. And access to his presence with boldness. Continue to meditate on that.
let's give God a mighty hand of praise. He is no longer in the tomb. You can do better than that. Let's give God a mighty hand of praise. We are able to celebrate this day. Despite of the bad that happened. Because we know that he lives. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And what a powerful word we received this morning. And my hope for you is that. That this word continues to abide with you. Hallelujah. Amen. So I want to take this opportunity for us to go and uh, give our offerings before we conclude. Hallelujah. Amen. I would that the servants of the house uh, position themselves. And I feel just to make sure that uh, we do it in a slightly speedier manner that they come to the front so that we can all come and give. I'm just going to read uh, something uh, that is short from the book of Ephesians chapter 5. And right there in Ephesians chapter 5, we have verses 1 and 2. They read as follows. Therefore, be imitators of God as dear children and walk in love, as Christ also has loved us and given himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling aroma. Ndizone, ivani wa edzisamuzimu, saba nabafunuaho, nichimbile lufunoni, wunga na kristo onifuna, I think it is something that will also help others if I say the following. Some might have asked themselves, why and where does this term Good Friday come from? Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, it stems from Old English. The word good meant ho holy. Because it is not far from the word God. So Good Friday means a holy Friday. But it gained prominence prominence when it came to celebrating the good that came from Jesus' sacrifice. Ephesians say, be imitators of God. In other words, let us also be good, let us be holy as Jesus was holy. So this is why we are taking this holy offering today to imitate the sacrifice and the offering that was given by God and through Jesus. 
So can we all rise? Yes. So can we all rise up at this juncture? And come and give our offerings. In appreciating this holy day. Where a sacrifice above all was made. For our sake. So, as we are busy offering, please do pay attention to the following announcement. There is a request that all the people from Block F and Block G to please remain behind. And uh, in remaining behind, someone...